Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Hogan Tube. Today we're going to learn how to play Mancala. Mancala is one of the most popular games in Africa. There's evidence that it was played in around 1200 BC. And what I'm going to show you today is a westernized version of the rules with over 800 different Mancala games. Nobody is going to tell you the definitive rules on, of this game. The name Mancala comes from the Arabic word Nakala, which means to move. So let's get on with the how-to. Each player has six pits on their side of the board. They also have a Mancala, which is this side. So if you imagine an imaginary line here, and that is player one's section, and that is player two's. The aim of the game is to get the most seeds or stones in your Mancala. You start off by putting four stones in each pit on both players side of the board. There should be nothing in the Mancalas at this stage. So we'll quickly run through the rules. Each player on their turn picks up their stones and places them into each pit. If you get to your Mancala, you drop a stone in there. If you go all the way around and you get to the other player's Mancala, you skip that and you go straight onto your pit. Now my final stone end up in my Mancala, so that means I get another go. And now it's the next player's go. So I'm going to take the role of player two here. I'm going to do that. Again, that's in their Mancala. So they get to go again. And play continues like this. So it's player one's go again. And you'll notice as you go around, you can put the stones into the other player's pits, but you don't put them into Mancala. Now it's a great educational game, there's also a little bit of strategy involved. And here's a little rule. If you move one of your stones into a pit on your side and it's empty, but there's stones on the other player's side, you get to take all those stones and put them in your Mancala. So I'll quickly go around here and carry on the game. The game ends when either player has no stones on their side. You can see player two has no stones left. If that happens, then the player who has stones on their side remaining puts them all in their Mancala. Now it doesn't take a genius to work out who the winner is on this game. It's clearly player one. Sometimes a little bit closer and you have to do a little bit of counting. This particular set I have is from Lagoon Games. Uh, there's loads out there, you can get them online. Uh, the instructions say that it's suitable for seven years and up, but Zane's been playing this since he was four and it's really helped him with his counting. Uh, there's also a little bit of strategy involved, so it gets him thinking about not just what's happening now, but a few turns in advance. If you've enjoyed this how-to video, please give it a thumbs up. Why not subscribe for more? Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.